a YouTube. This is Aquarium Garden. I've been getting a couple questions recently about the uh, UV sterilizer I've been running in my Planet Discus Aquarium. I haven't, haven't done a uh, product review before, so I figured this is my golden opportunity. So here it goes. Um, the sterilizer I've been running is the uh, Deep Blue Professional 9 watt in tank UV sterilizer. Sterilizer is rated up to 100 gallons or 100 gallon aquarium. Uh, I'm running, I have a 72 bow front tank. There's probably about 8 to 10 gallons of uh, water also in my sump. That brings me up uh, anywhere between 80 and 82 gallons uh, in the system at any one time. So this unit should be sufficient. I always uh, like to over filter versus under filter, but um, in this case, this seemed to be right on the money. Um, one reason I like this unit uh, was that it would fit in my sump area. Um, I was really uh, wanting to get something that, um, after doing some research, that would fit in my sump. And there's there's all kinds of different types of UV sterilizers out on the market, um, different manufacturers, different styles. There's twist style UV sterilizers, which uh, can be run in line, either from a power head or a power, power uh, pump um, to drive the water through, to, through the sterilizer. Um, you can get sterilizers that, uh, that will come along with a uh, filtration unit like a hang on the back type filter or canister filter. Um, this is a standalone unit. Um, as you can see here, it comes with its own little power head. Uh, that power head's rated to uh, 53 gallons per hour. It's a little tiny guy, it doesn't move a lot of water at all. Uh, matter of fact, when this thing's run, if you put your finger right in front of the uh, the exhaust on the power head, you can barely feel the, the water coming out of it. That's a good thing as far as the UV sterilizer is concerned. Um, the way UV sterilizer works is there's an ultraviolet bulb contained in that housing, and when the bulb's on and the water passes through it, the ultraviolet light, when it contacts um, bacteria, algae and in some cases uh, parasites will uh, work to inhibit or destroy uh, the organism. Uh, so for that reason they're very popular f as far as uh, um, algae control is one of the big reasons uh, why you see people running UV sterilizers. Um, also for uh, bacteria control, any bacteria that's free-floating in your water. Um, and on larger units, uh, 15 watts or higher, um, they can even um, eradicate parasites. So I originally just wanted to get this primarily... Uh, just to get any any bacteria that was in the water uh, out of the water. Um, I really wasn't too worried about the clarity of my aquarium water. I was really happy with how clear it was. Um, I will say that after putting, uh, after using the sterilizer for about a week, there was a noticeable increase in the clarity of the water. Um, I didn't think I would see any. I thought my water was about as clear as it was going to get, but um, this unit proved me wrong. It did, did a tremendous job with uh, just removing what I didn't know was there. Um, so it really does a wonderful job of just polishing the water up on top of uh, removing any of uh, that harmful bacteria or any bacteria whatsoever that's in the water that passes through it. I got a little ahead of myself there. I wanted to talk about the flow rate. Um, flow rate with the UV sterilizer. Um, there, there are tables that you can find online that tell you how long uh, your your water should be exposed 
um, to to the UV light, um, but you don't want to push water over or past the UV sterilizer quickly. Um, basically, you want to allow the water to uh, to be exposed to the light. The longer it's exposed to the light the better the UV sterilizer will be able to eradicate any pathogens or algaes that are in the water. So you want a low flow rate. Um, this unit does provide that at uh, 53 gallons an hour. Um, it, it, uh, like I said, you, that little power head just does not move a, a whole lot of water past it. Um, so I wanted to also take this guy apart and show you a little bit about the internal workings. Of the uh, of the sterilizer here, I'm gonna move the box out of the way. Basically, the sterilizer has a couple pieces to it here. You see the two power cords. One is used to run the the uh, the small power head. The other is actually used to uh, um, to power the the bulb. So if I take this guy apart. You can see the power head, how tiny it is, it just pops right off. And then, oh, I'll have to get that later. This piece comes apart, and this is where you'll find the UV bulb at. Also, inside of here is a uh, aluminum sleeve which can be a little difficult to get out so these are some of the parts okay you can notice the suction cups on the back of this which are a nice feature um, but this is what's doing all the work right here this is the uh, UV bulb it's a uh, quartz sleeve okay um, you also notice that this unit has a baffle Okay, a lot of models will try to maximize uh, the exposure time of the water to the UV light with diff various means. Like I said earlier, some of them have a corkscrew. This one uses a baffle. And inside this aluminum uh, reflector, the baffle slides in. So basically you get double the amount of time of the water going over the... Uh, the UV bulb, um, so just to increase the, the the time of the water that's exposed to it. Um, one thing I wanted to note was, or talk about was, the uh, the amount of time or how often you should clean these items. Uh, I don't know if you can see in this video how clear this is, but this bulb's been running for about five months. Um, they're rated to about 9,000 hours before they, for the manufacturer says that they should be replaced. Um, something, as the bulb gets used, um, something happens to the quartz, which is called uh, solarizing, where they become solarized. Basically, they lose, they become less crystal clear they get a, uh, a buildup on them. Um, that buildup over time basically inhibits the ability of the UV light to do its job. Um, really anything that's getting in between the UV light and the bacteria or the algae or the parasites um, are going to make the bulb less effective. Um, this is the first time I've noticed that my bulb has done this it's been about a month since, a month and a half since I've cleaned it. Uh, it was a little bit dirtier than this, had a little bit more buildup on it, but I cleaned this off today uh, with a paper towel, um, and it, I was just a little perplexed because uh, I thought, well, this stuff will come right off, but it almost looks like nicotine buildup on the bulbs. But that's the solarization process uh, that's going to happen with all UV bulbs as I've come to find out. Um, so anyway, yeah, just a little note on that. But uh, that's what does all the that's what does all the work there.
Another nice feature of this, uh, this particular UV sterilizer comes with an aluminum sleeve. When the aluminum sleeve is inside the case, it'll fit over the bulb. It's just basically adding more reflection or more reflectivity inside the, uh, inside the case right there. So it just makes the bulb that much more effective. I'm going to put this back together now. Another thing, it's good not to ever touch the quartz uh, bulbs. Just because of the oils on your hand, it can uh, do bad things to the bulb, basically just decreasing the life of the bulb. Let's see, this guy slides in here. snaps together. Here's the part I lost before. I'm just going to snap that back on. And put it back together. So that's the unit there. I can uh, show you how it fits in the sump. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll edit the uh, the boring parts out and uh, just plug this thing in for you so you can see what it looks like when it's running. So there's the unit running in the sump. I just put it back in there. I had it out for the, uh, just took it out for this video so I could show the unit and do the review. But it's back in there uh, doing its job. You can see the uh, power head there on the bottom. So I just want to show you in the sump so you kind of see how big the unit was. Um, it fits nicely in the uh, in the right hand side or the uh, where I have my uh, return pump for my uh, for my wet dry. My heater's in there, and that fits kind of snugged up nice up against the uh, the back of the sump. Another good another point about um, placement of their sterilizer. It's it's. Uh, Definitely a good idea to run your sterilizer after your mechanical filtration. Um, if you basically what happens is is if if the more particulate that's in your aquarium or in your water, um, it can provide, believe it or not, places for algae and bacteria to hide behind, basically in a shadow. Of the of the micro microscopic debris. Remember, it doesn't have to be that large. It just has to be large enough for a uh, for algae or bacteria to hide behind. So very very tiny. But anyway, as water passes through the the sterilizer, any sterilizer, if there's the more um, substances that are that are in the water, that are suspended in the water, the less effective your sterilizer will be at sterilizing the water. So, there's a couple options. You can run your sterilizer in your aquarium, which is kind of one way that these are marketed. Um, also, uh, like I said, I prefer to run mine um, after the mechanical filtration, that way it's taken out as much of the impurities as I could possibly get. That's the, the purest waters in my sump, so my sterilizer will be most effective in the stump versus in the aquarium. In the aquarium, you have uh, it's just it's uh, even though it's clean, it's just it's the uh, non-filtered water in the system. So that unit would be less effective in the aquarium versus in the sump. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my product review. Um, I'm very happy with the product um, through five months of use. Um, it's really done a good job for me. Um, it's the only sterilizer that I've used to date. Um, so I don't really have a comparison to compare it against. I had looked at a bunch of units before I purchased this one. Um, that bulb probably, I'll probably replace that bulb after nine months versus uh, a little over 12 months is what the manufacturer recommends. Um, 
just because of the solarizing of the glass that I saw there. But anyway, it's a great product. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, awesome just, just for water clarity alone. Um, the warm water is crystal clear running that unit. Um, and just anything that it's going to take out of the water column as far as uh, bacteria on top of that to me is just a bonus now. So um, that's the review for the uh, Deep Blue in-tank 9-watt UV sterilizer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just uh, send me a PM or post your comments below. Thanks.